Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays where we do bite-sized tech tutorials in 5 minutes or less. On today's episode we're going to be learning how to build a REST API using Node.js. If you're new to this channel here on Tech Endeavor, we do coding tutorials, we talk about the technology industry, and we talk tech career stuff. So if this is the kind of thing that you're interested in, then click that subscribe button down below the video. So we got a lot to cover and a little time to do it, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I went on for expedience sake and initialized this. All you do is run npm init. So that gives us this package.json here. I've installed express and nodemon. We're gonna need these for this project. And then uh, in dummy.js, I've got this dummy data that we're gonna use as well. I'll put a link down in the description that you can go download this code. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we want to say const express equals require express and that will bring in our express framework uh, let's call this API right const API equals express this initializes an instance of express and we can call it whatever we want we can call it server API whatever in this case we're making an API so and then we will declare our host to be, well, localhost, and our port, let's just say 8888. All right, and then we'll say api.listen, listen at the port, and then we're going to, Let's do something a little cool, right? So let's just make sure, let's look at our data really quick. So say const data equals require dummy, all right? And then here, once we, in, once we start this up, let's just log the data. Okay, so in package.json, make sure you have this line right here written. Start node mine index.js, okay? And then you'll be able to do this. npm start. And you'll see, there, we've console logged. This is our dummy data, right? So awesome, cool, that's working. So now, let's take that off and we'll say server, uh, nope, not server, a API running at host colon port okay save that we'll see this is going to refresh oh no it's, it's not going to work because we got to do this console dialog all right now save there we go uh this is going to be a lot man i gotta hurry up a lot to do in five minutes, okay. Okay, so we'll start off by doing a git request. So it would say api.git, right? And we'll just say git slash. So whenever they just request this page, rec and res, or the homies as they're affectionately called at Lambda School. Always gotta be together. All right, response.send. Welcome to this awesome API. So now we need an endpoint that's actually gonna be able to return that data that we have. So we'll say api.get slash, let's call it people, because these are people. And we'll say rec res. So we'll say response.status we can send a status code, status 200, meaning okay, the request went through good, dot JSON, we wanna send it back in JSON format, and we're gonna say data, right? That's our data here. So if we bring this back, and then we save here, and then we navigate to slash people, there we go. So that's how you make an API, basically. 
So obviously this is a very simple way to do it. It's just kind of a way to get your feet wet in it and then um, you know hopefully you'll take this and, and build on that knowledge. You know obviously you would want to have <clears throat> you'd want to have a put endpoint, you'd want to have a post endpoint, delete. There's so many different things that you could do that would be very uh, useful for you. If you want to know more about how to set this up, how to set up the database, how to do those other endpoints, I have a much longer tutorial that I that I did that's a full uh, front end and back end tutorial, but I'll show this specific part that's related to this video if you click up top or down in the description box below. So if this brought up more questions for you or you're kind of confused or stuck, then just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to that as soon as I can. I usually respond pretty quickly. I make these videos because I wanna help you along in your development journey. So what I've done is, if you look down in the description box below, you'll see a list of books that I've curated. These are some of the most influential books for me in my personal and professional development. And so if you'd like to check those out and click through there, make a purchase, just know that I will get a small percentage of the sale but it's at no extra cost to you and it's a great way to support this channel, to support my work and to allow me to continue to make these videos, to continue to create content. I truly appreciate every like, every subscribe, every comment. It's really cool uh, that you guys wanna see my stuff. So if you wanna support my channel and get a really cool book, really helpful book in the process, check out those links in the description. All right, I hope you learned something. Building an API is a whole lot of fun, and you really become the arbiter of arbiter. That was really hard to say. Arbiter of data, the data flow. So you kind of get to be the gatekeeper. So the next thing I would say, look into is models and controllers. There's a little bit of homework for you. All right, I'm Cliff. This has been Five Minute Fridays, and I'll see you next Friday.